Oh yeah, thank you, listener. Or you are a passive one. Hello, most my friends and most welcome guests. Today, I would like to speak about the art of listening. But why is it important? If you would like to gain respect and have trust, and have people trust you, being an active listener is a good start. If you are dealing with customer, you need to be an active listener in order to succeed. If you would like to be a leader, you have to be a good listener. You need to know your own mind. But there is no point in imposing your views on others without some debate. Effective leaders and influencers master the art of listening. They know that people want and would like to be heard. By now, we know the importance of listening. But we don't often do. Why? Why we don't often listen actively? It's because of distraction. There are two types of distraction, external and internal. External distraction often refer to physical noise in physical environment. In order to best focus on the speaker's message, you need to eliminate as many distractions as you can. Turn off your cell phones. That's why we do it here. Relocate to a quiet place, as we are, and so on. The second one is internal distraction, which is usually referred to psychological and emotional noise. Kind of inner voice, a little voice in your head. I would like to call this inner voice it. Not she, not he, just it. And I will show it like that on top of my head. <laughs> So when you are listening to a speaker, it is coming in your head and saying, what is he going to say? <laughs> what is she going to say? Or maybe it reminds you about your feeling. You are angry. You are in rush. You don't want to listen. Or it is saying, you know already what he will say next. Or what is her intention? Or maybe you are attached to personal value and some beliefs and you don't like to hear any other thing. That's <coughs> why it is saying it actually is reminding you about those values. Or maybe it is judging the speaker. These are some examples. Again, in order to best focus on the speaker's message, you, ne you need to eliminate that it. But how? When someone is talking and it comes into your head, you need to push it away and come back and listen to the person. You want to listen to the guy. You don't want to listen to it. Again, it will be back. You push it away and come back to the speaker. The studies show the more you push it away, the less it appears. I would like to add some other point in this regard. Concentrate on what the speaker is saying. Maintain eye contact. Avoid hasty judgments. Put your emotion behind. Prepare some questions to ask at the end. Give accurate feedback at the end. I hope my topic was interesting enough that it didn't distract you that much. <laughs> Thank you.